Namaste, ¿qué es eso? Mi nombre es Ivana Medina, hey. And so, hey, what's up? My name is Ivana and welcome to Love. Let me go ahead and interrupt what you're watching and welcome you one more time to Love and Sound. As you can tell, there's a change in scenery and that's because it's so many months after the video has passed. However, a lot of life happened after India. But I did promise I would show you and so here we are back one more time. This is just a glimpse of all the things that I got to experience while on my trip to India, mostly because this is a country where Christians are still persecuted. And so a lot of the things that I saw, people I met, um, or ministries, we cannot share at this moment just in order to protect their safety. However, I wanted to show you what an incredible time I had in India. So let's go ahead and get back to it. And so this video is pretty much a recap of my trip to India and a couple different ministries that we got to visit, people that we got to meet, and um, you know, if you're interested in seeing the kind of stuff that we did, go ahead and check it out. I will probably just recap at the end as to all that happened. What's up guys, excuse my hair and probably my face. Um, as always, getting ready for travel days are crazy, but so exciting. I leave to India in less than 48 hours which is gonna be awesome and as always I happen to be at like a UPS right before I leave and I don't even understand but just getting things ready for work getting last minute things in order gonna go take out some cash and finish packing and then we're off to India it's gonna be so much fun um hopefully this makes it somewhere hopefully I get to take a lot of footage which I doubt I will but it'll be fun Music. Good morning from where are we? Jackson International. From Jackson. We have yet to leave. Where are we going? Uh, first leg is to George Bush International Airport. Here we go. Here we go. Come on, India. Then we go to the hotel for 12 hours, then we get back home and then we fly. I'm glad he's giving the whole rundown because I apparently don't know where I'm going. From Delhi to Silicon, back over. It's awesome. And I'm currently in the position I will probably be for the next 48 hours. Oh no, babe, you will be there. Speed ground control to Major Tom. Where did you get? Where are we at now? We are in Houston. Where are we going now? Right there. We're on our way to Toronto. I don't think we can even see us. We have to turn this way. Toronto. We're in Houston. We're going to Toronto. This is so fun having other people do this. So we got some food. I'm eating chicken. I don't usually eat chicken, Mr. Tom, but might as well break all the rules, right? Follow them. Follow them. Wow. Looks good, right? Tomato, basil, spinach. Are you ready? Try not to get it from the side. From the side? Where's Chewy? He just, I thought he was behind me. So this is flight one, two? Where's our flight to? Houston. To Houston. Houston, yeah. We're on our way, Major Tom. Here we go. In. The pouch. Tear the pouch open, remove and unfold the vest. Slip it over your head, wrap the belt around your waist, and secure it to the buckle in front. Pull the wool. We are on flight two. On our way to Toronto. We got Pharaoh in the house. to Canada. Canada just us three we don't know where the rest of the team is Canada, eh? Canada, eh? Canada, eh? Canada, eh? we oats let's get some, let's get some <laughs> so currently we are at a layover in Canada about six hours a lot of laying around and reading um, it's pretty cool around here cannot wait to get to India though we have a really long layover in New Delhi Fourteen hours later, we 
have landed in New Delhi. I'm exhausted. It has been the world's longest day. And so I'm gonna call it a night. See you tomorrow, India. Good morning. It's like barely 6 a.m. here. The jet lag has gotten the best of me. I am on the hunt for some chai and some food because I'm starving. I'm gonna go search for that. breakfast it was great it was so yummy i love indian food and the people from here in india are so so kind and very very sweet um it's gonna be a different day we have some rest and then we get to take a flight into Siliguri around three so we'll be back in the airport so for now it's just a lot of rest and a lot of getting ready so much fun so we escaped from the hotel i got mr john and miss beverly and we found a mall. You ready? <laughs> So basically it is a kind of dumpling and then it's kept in cold water for a long time just to maintain its durability and then again it's topped with yogurt and variety of sauce and then chopped onion, tomatoes. I just wanted to kind of update you guys um, on just like everything that's happened. India is beautifully chaotic, wild, and wonderful. And it has just been the absolute best, like meeting all these people, um, just in general, like people from India are so kind and so beautiful and have this huge, huge place in my heart. The food is phenomenal. Like I need to go on a diet the moment I get back home. Like, I can't even do how much I've had to eat, but it's just incredible. And you know what? Like, while you're in India, why not? Um, and just like, even like how deep people that follow Christ here are, just their love for Jesus and the Holy Spirit, like, it goes beyond, like, they know what it means to really like, risk their lives for the gospel. and how they love so rightly and it, it's like even the kids like today we had this really cool experience and and like the kids are so deep like they worship and they know he's in the room and the way that they pray and seeing them really step into giftings and callings and anointing and 
that was so cool like India has exceeded all of my expectations and it's like such a wonderful place like I can't even put into words like everything that God has done and how much he has moved and like how strongly and it's just like I don't even have words for it yet but it's been a really long day. We went to two different places today and saw the cutest, awesomest, like best kids in the world, which I love my kids in Kenya, so it's hard to say that. But I'm going to dinner and then I'm gonna rest. But it has been a phenomenal trip and we're only a couple days in. Just wanted to update you guys. But here we go, India. Good morning. We are on our way to a conference. Too many days in the darkness. Without a glimpse of the light. Running tired and broken and scared. But I swear I'll never give up the fight. So we've had a super cool day here at the conference. I'm on the way to go check on the kids. They are the cutest thing in the world. They might be singing, I'm not even sure. But um, I think we're like halfway through the trip and it's been incredible. So still got a couple more days and a couple really fun things planned that I'll show you. Made it back to the hotel for a break. But we were stuck in traffic and I was just like looking out the window and I started thinking about the fact that like people are very kind to us here. Like they're so nice. They will give us anything. They just have a servant heart. Like they're super, super kind to us. But then you see other people and they're just like on the streets and they're like picking up stuff like little kids and they're working the fields. Then it's just like, I know that's their normal but I wonder like if they have that kindness towards each other. Like I've seen in other countries, it's like, at least even from my home country, it's like people will be eating out of the trash and other people won't give them food. And so it was like a hard realization. And then just thinking about like how many kids here are orphaned and how many like houses and orphanages and schools they have and still like the population, even in just Calcutta or New Delhi of orphans is so huge and it's just like thinking about like can you imagine how incredible the world would really be if everybody knew the love of the father and was willing to sacrifice for other people and love other people and it's hard like sometimes I'm here with these kids and I'm like I want to take them home like I will take care of them I will adopt them like just tell me what I have to do and it's like the laws here are super super complicated so that's like not even an option but also it's just like there has to be something better and there is a lot of these houses are um you know like taking them in and they kind of foster them so they still have relationships with the families and that's really really good because then they get to foster that relationship and really show them the love of the father as well it's just like really sad to see um it's kind of like how the world really is we live in this very secluded little bubble in the states and it's always really good to get out and remind myself that I honestly live this perfect life and I'm always so blessed to come to these countries because they show me what the joy of simplicity in life is like so I'm just always really grateful for these trips India and you got my heart I love me some Africa too maybe China next I don't even know I'm just gonna pieces of my heart left around the world. Gotta come back and pick them up, I guess. So the way to get there. Everyone is coming towards us. He's again stuck. I can't even put my phone out. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning Uncle Tom. Here to is why. So today we are headed to the safari. The safari. safari. And then... Safari's so good. 
<laughs> hey, Walter. What do you think about India? I think India is great. I came home to my family for the first time. I will be back to do some more work in Calcutta. Walter's moving to Calcutta. No, I'm going to visit and help some pastors in Calcutta. <laughs> I'm not moving to India, but we I do We say no India. names, though. We say no names. No names. What about you, Mr. Tom? What do you think about India? Love the people, love the culture, and love ministering to them. Come on. I Brandon. love Uncle Tom. Did you go Nepal, <laughs> No, it's <laughs> Hindi. They don't call India, they call Bharat. Bharat? Which means? India. <laughs> Things I don't understand in India. <laughs> Hallelujah, India. Hallelujah, anyhow. Yamasi. Yamasi. All the clothes. My pajamas. <laughs> this is all going on the YouTube channel. I hope you know that. <laughs> And to be completely honest, this video is already way too long. But I just wanted to encourage you, you don't have to go across an ocean to go and be a missionary. You can cross the street and show someone the love of God. But I do want to encourage you that the same way that I formed these incredible connections with people that are now my family in India, in all these moments in which I could just behold his children and share the love that he has for them, I want to encourage you to do the same, whether it's across the street, in the job where you're at, or if you're planning to go on a mission, and just follow the call in your life to go. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you soon.